Warning, you are about to enter the BGP suite. No thongs, no boy shorts, no thigh highs, no commandos are permissible. BGP, big girl panties only. So pull up to woman up. And no, please don't leave with your panties in a bunch. Welcome to BGP, a place where you see three lovely ladies who hold ourselves accountable. Do we, we? speak on? We do. We speak <laughs> on different opinions. Uh, sometimes we agree. A lot of times we disagree. But we still know that after the end of this taping, we will give each other hugs, send each other love, and discuss it later. Um, if you would, if we would like for you guys to actually subscribe, share, and comment, give us feedback on your thoughts on our particular episodes. We are open-minded. We don't mind listening to your comments. Sometimes, if I'm down with the fuckery, I will respond to your comments, just so you know. Um, today's topic is Dwayne Wade. Where's the ball? I'm speaking today in basketball metaphor while I ask questions. For those that play ball, they know what I mean. For those that don't, just keep up. Just hang with me, OK? So Dwayne Wade made a, top, made a kind of a mini controversial uh, comment today, I'm sorry, not today, this week, earlier this week, regarding um, his wife. According to Dwayne Wade, he does not lead his house. He is not the leader of his house. He's not, you know, an authority figure of his house. His wife is. His wife calls the shots. His wife, you know, speaks on a direction of where they want to go as a family, as a unit. It's all on her. And so my first question is, or my first Part of it is get the ball. Get the ball, Dwayne. Where's your balls? <laughs> <laughs> so, Adrian, since you've been married oh. before, mm -hmm. my question to you, when you were married, who was the leader in the house? Uh, my, my spouse was. He was the leader. Um, actually, I encouraged that because I came from a household where um, Daddy led everything, and um, although he did not have leadership qualities, he was not a good communicator, um, he did not have good family values, um, the way I was brought up, he needed to lead. And I think uh, he wasn't ready for that role, but I tried to encourage it and tried to, uh, to push him out where it didn't seem as though I was taking over. Mm -hmm. um, I just, that's the way I was brought up. I know it's an old school way of thinking, but um, I, I like my man to be the leader. And um, yeah, and, and my house, he, I did give him that role. He didn't do well at it though. You gave him that role or I, did he just assume the role? And he, he assumed, just wanted, okay. yeah, I like that better. He assumed the role. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mona, if you were married, who's the leader? Of the household, me? No. <laughs> <laughs> when you say of the household, are you talking about? What do you mean? Who's the leader? What what, what household? Who's the authority of the household? There Who makes go. the final okay. say so? So the head, the authority, the leader of the household is the man. I believe that he is. He is like my personal bodyguard, like I said before, and, and the bodyguard of the children. Mm -hmm. He is supposed to give us um, instructions on how he wants his house ran. I have taken his last name. I represent him. So he should be saying how he, th he wants things to be run in his household because they say, uh, give a man his peace. Mm -hmm. So I need to know what your peace consists of so that I can perform those duties to make sure that that house is ran according to your wishes. Mm. Isn't that lovely? That That's is. That's beautiful. That My. is. Good answer. But flag on the flag. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's football. Foul! <laughs> because you said something that was very interesting. You said, I take on his last name, right? Right. Dwayne Wade said if he could, he would take on his wife's last name. He prefers her to be <laughs> the head of the house. 
She is the head of the house. And granted, in today's time, if he wanted to, he actually could take on her last name. But <laughs> my question to both of you is, you meet a man, you think he's a leader, you think he has the potential, you want him to be, you know, you encourage him to be the authority figure of the house, make the final say-sos, the final decisions, and he says, I want you to do it, whatever you say go. How do you handle that? I think early on in, in, in our courtship, we should have developed, uh, we should have had that conversation and that how important it is for me for you to take this role and for you to lead us and to guide us and to be this example to these children. Sadly, um, I think in today's time, a lot of boys don't have that example of a leader. They have mom, you know, and so maybe that's why he feels like he can relinquish that and just give that to her is because you know, so many times, and you know, we, we, this whole feminist movement, and mm. I get it to certain aspects, but um, we're taking, it's just breaking up the whole family dynamic, if you ask me. So I just think that, um, yeah, we, we should have established that early on in our courtship that I'm, I'm going to need you to lead us. Yeah. Mona? I believe that early on in a relationship, a man may allow you to do certain things and take charge in certain areas. However, women may never say this, we don't want no punk ass nigga. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. We don't want a man that's not gonna tell us so, um, no. We will accept you telling us no with a good reason if it's, it's if it's um, going to benefit us in the long run, we want a man that takes charge. So in Dwayne Wade's um, situation, you have to kind of go back and look at his history. He came from a very uh, terrible background. Trouble, mm -hmm. yeah. His mom was a drug addict. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she was a single mother before she met. Uh, Dwayne Wade's father. Uh, father. Mm -hmm. No, that's his father. Mm -hmm. uh, he, she had two children before she married him. Right, right. And then she had two children with him. But the dad left, I think, when he was like four months. Mm. And then he went to go live with dad about when he was about eight. So he hadn't seen his mother for about two years after that because she was on drugs and she was in and out of the rehab, uh, rehab mm -hmm. and, and, and prison. Mm -hmm. So now he doesn't know what maternal feels like from his mother you know he's kind of far uh, um, removed from that and now he's over here with a stepmother that may have been a good mother but there's real there's no real maternal mm. connection there right. and then his father was abusive in that household which led him to his first wife he mm -hmm. moved in with uh, what's her name Savan Savan's mother mm -hmm. they they had known each other since uh, fifth grade mm -hmm. and so then they began to be boyfriend and girlfriend when they were like 15 mm -hmm. so they kind of lived up the street from each other mm -hmm. so they were friends first then they became High girlfriend and boyfriend but right. there was a time that Dwayne Wade couldn't take it any longer and he went to Savan's mother and said did you mean what you said and she was like what do you mean he said, you said, don't ever be homeless, don't ever be broke, don't ever not have somewhere to go. And she said, yes, I did um, uh, mean what I said. And she had just su suffered the loss of her daughter being murdered. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, mama, I'm home. Mm -hmm. And she said, the mother said he had two black uh, garbage bags. And she said, shake your clothes off and come on in. And Savon didn't even know that she was living, that Dwayne Wade was living there with her mother, and her mother didn't tell because she was off in her first, uh, her sophomore year of college, mm -hmm. and he was in his last year of high school. Right. And so then they got together. So he's never been in a leadership role because then he got the NBA thing. So what, they got married 2002? Mm-hmm. They got a divorce 2007. Seven. 2007. Mm -hmm. Well, he left her 2007 because that's what when Zayon, who was now Zaya, was born. 
So a few months after Zaya was born, mm -hmm. it was 2007, mm -hmm. he filed for divorce mm -hmm. and left her with those babies. So he wasn't a leader there. Mm -hmm. Now steps in Gabrielle Union. Mm -hmm. Gabrielle Union pulled a Porsche. Because they didn't actually get divorced uh, to 2010. 2009. 2009. 2010. Uh -huh. And they started dating in 2008. Mm -hmm. And so, Gabrielle, it's my opinion, she hates men. She had a traumatic uh, experience oh, she was back there. At uh, she was raped. She was raped. Mm -hmm. yeah. At Payless. Mm -hmm. And she's been on the jihad ever since. You know, mm. she was married before. Uh, he was uh, married before. They got together. And what did we say? Sometimes the same way you get them is the same way that you lose them. And so mm -hmm. then they split. He got with his The one that he really mama. wanted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they split in 2013. No, 2013. When did Think Like Man Part 2? Mm -hmm. But the baby had to be conceived in 2012. Uh, yeah. And then they got married in 2014. So here comes the way way with all this baggage. He got three kids. He adopted his nephew. Right. Gabrielle is barren. She can't have no kids. Mm -hmm. He got to make up for cheating. Wow. Mm -hmm. You see where I'm going? Mm -hmm. You see where I'm going? I definitely do. So she's like, and then she preen up. Right. Because she said she had never uh, saw him balance a checkbook. And she running it and he's allowing her to run it because he was soft before she even got there so she's playing the masculine role and he's super soft mm -hmm. so you're saying he's a beta male uh he's a soft he's soft he's weak i mm -hmm. don't i don't really subscribe to alpha beta that's okay. a bullshit to me too <laughs> but he's soft he's not a leader yeah. he's a leader on the court he's a High value man when mm. it comes to earning. Right. High earner, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a high earner. I agree. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he doesn't exude any heterosexual manly qualities. Looks how he dress. He mm. dresses real soft. He had on a skirt. He polish. Oh, what the hell? He polishes his toenails. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm having a bra mouth <laughs> malfunction. <laughs> <laughs> he polishes his toenails. He's the soft one. Right. So again, I'm going to go back to my question. A man tells you, I want you to be the leader of the household. I want you to run it. I want you to be the authority in the house. Maybe it said that And way. I answered you. I, I need me a bone to sit your ass down somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'll be like, oh, okay. I think he's mad. I think he's mad. <laughs> I'm going to be talking that. later. <laughs> but right now, let me. I'm going to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a strong entity, you know. So, yeah, I need somebody that when I look at him, he, murder. Okay, <laughs> oh, <good>. shit. <laughs> I like that kind of big commanding when you walk in the room they be like god damn he look like he gonna kill somebody but he's a softie yeah i need a man to direct lead lead lead, mm -hmm. <laughs> lead. yes and i'd be afraid to tell you sometimes yeah. you gotta shut the fuck up yeah. and really i have been around a lot of men where i have orchestrated uh some of their greatness i've never had a man that said mona you're talented at doing this. You need to do this. Let me help you do this. Mm -hmm. So I am very opinionated. You know, mm -hmm. I am very rebellious. I'm a strong personality. So hell yeah, I need a strong personality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need a man that, that that's going to take me to the next level. I don't want to mm -hmm. take him to the next level. I'm not the man. I'm the help. Right. And I really believe that I am the help. I enjoy being the help. I do too. Yeah. You know, yeah. although I've got a big mouth mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm saying, yeah. no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> See, for me, behind closed doors, I can nurture my man and mm -hmm. help him to get these qualities that he may be in areas that he may be lacking. But at the end of the day, on the outside looking in, I'm pushing him forward. I'm pushing him 
to the forefront. I want him to shine. I want him to be the uh, Smokey Robinson and I'm the miracle, whatever. You know, he's the one that's leading it. He's, the, you know, we're following his steps. But they have to be able to do it. Financially, I don't want somebody that's going to lead us to the poorhouse because he's just as he so spends like I spend. You know, he don't have no kind of direction. And that's the thing with a lot of the guys today is they don't have that those leadership qualities. And I think because so many times the the man is absent in the home and where we need that um, for them to learn those qualities, it's just not there. So I think in, in her case, though, it may be, and I'm just saying this, mm -hmm. it, may, it may be that because he travels a lot, mm -hmm. he's gone a lot, so she does take lead often, that he just said, huh, just, you know, like you said, he's soft anyway. Might as well go ahead and let her do what she do. Well, I was, I was going to say, could it be that he turned things over to her to make her feel like everything will be okay for her because he cheated. Mm. So could it be he relinquished certain oh, things so that she be. won't have to feel like, last time you told me this and your ass was over here yeah. sticking your dick in this. Yes. Last time you right. told me that, but really you was over here with senorita. Last time you told me this. So could it be that he's just like, whatever you say, yes, dear, mm -hmm. whatever, yes, dear, yep. What time you want me home, dear? Okay, dear, yep. What are we doing with the kid? Okay, dear, yep. Do you think he became a yes man to appease her? Could be. I believe that because there is a nine-year difference. She is older. She is older than mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. um, Dwayne Wade mm -hmm. is still kind of sort of looking for a motherly uh, mm -hmm. Good point. Um, yep. Um, and again, he's soft. She's hard. Mm -hmm. She is. You know, and 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 probably the dynamics of that relationship works like that. I I would agree with you that he's like whatever you say, baby, because he he messed he's up. Messed yeah. Up, you yeah. know, and yeah. um, she over there eating booty and stuff, so he might you know <laughs> whatever be, it takes for her to keep him. You know, hey, whatever he yeah. might be sprung. Yeah. Um, the <laughs> oh, she wrote it in her book. Yeah, she wrote it in her book. She wrote it in her book and said that's. I mean, initially she was against it. And After he cheated, she she decided, -like you know groceries. what? There's nothing wrong with eating groceries. Mm. In hey, her book. Yeah. I, I <laughs> Spit it out. It. Spit it. No, I'm I'm thinking about when Adrian said nurture. We we nurture children. We don't nurture. We don't nurture men. Bingo. They supposed to have a plan. We supposed to help them execute the plan. They're supposed you, to. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't want to have children and have a man as my baby too. I know. Absolutely. Know, I'm going to support him, uplift him, sexually recharge him, but I'm not nurturing him. I'm not your mama. So he, he's actually looking for a mother. And, and, and two, we have to understand that there's agenda. There's an agenda out here mm -hmm. to keep the black family structure uh, divided. They right. really don't want to see uh, uh, husband and wife. They really don't want to see us be together. So they put these weirdos out here from Hollywood and, 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 and create this propaganda. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not saying that he does not work uh, run the household because here's the thing. When you saw that interview, she was just smiling. Mm -hmm. he Looking at him and yeah. smiling. Like, you <laughs> yeah, got that right. right. I sure he was do. All docile. I w even if he was a punk at home, I'm not getting on national TV mm -mm. talking no. about this is my man. Exactly. You're exactly. a joke. This is a joke right here. Nobody wants a weak man. Right. And, 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 and statistics and history shows it. That's why women gravitate to the thugs. And the bad boys. Mm -hmm. We want to know that if something needs leadership to, to get done and something pop off, he not gonna run before me. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. So no, that it, it's an agenda out here, and that works for them. That works for them. He's mm -hmm. a punk. File. <laughs> Drop the ball. Who dropped the ball in that relationship, Adrian? Who dropped the ball? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I kind of feel sorry for him because, you know, a lot of times we, we, we forget that our childhood dictates how we are as adults in, in a lot of ways. And what, wherever he was lacking, is it his fault? Is it his fault that he, he, he falls short in some of these areas? Um, I, think, I think he might have dropped the ball. 
I think he might have dropped the ball. And uh, getting that ball back is going to be difficult for him at this point because she's dribbling all over the place. Right. With it. Dribbling. Oh, yes. Oh, throwing absolutely. shit out of yes, bounds. Exactly. Allowing him to make her yes, look stupid. Right. And I, staying with it. Absolutely. Once you give a woman power, it's very hard to get mm-hmm. it back if you can ever get it back. Mm-hmm. You you don't give a woman power mm-hmm. in that manner to to lord over you as head. You don't you don't let that happen. Mm-hmm. You know we're not supposed to have the power. Mm-hmm. We're supposed to acquiesce to what you want because you gave us your last name. Right. Like I say, we are a representation of our husbands. And he said he you know he. He just wants to support her and what she does, and she was doing something before they got together. Okay, that's all fine and dandy. And you can do that in the constructs of your home and the constructs of your leadership and of authority. You don't relinquish your leadership and your authority because uh, she's doing A, B, C, and D. You you, got to be a man regardless of what she's doing. So, yeah, that's a bunch of propaganda. Mm. They're freaking weirdos in Hollywood. <laughs> but I think, too, like, we, we can, as a couple, be a team. Mm-hmm. There is a leader of the team. Mm-hmm. but And there's going to be some areas in the relationship uh, that I am better at than mm-hmm. he is. Mm-hmm. But I still want him to lead us. I still want to, like I said, and, and that's what, maybe nurturing was the wrong word, but I just feel like I can... And I don't want to say molds because then again, I'm yeah. building him up to be something other. <laughs> but it's some areas that he may fall short in that I can kind of school him on and say, hey, why don't we do it like this? Or, you know, is Any, that me taking the leadership? No, no, no. Because no, I'll say this. Mm-hmm. A good leader knows also knows how to follow. A good leader I agree. follows first before he becomes a leader. A good leader can look at something and say, you know what? Adrian has a strength in this, and I don't. Yes. I'm going to allow her to do that. Mona Absolutely. has a strength in, with her mouthpiece. I'm allow her to speak on that. Right. I have the strength to say I see the direction of where we can go, and mm-hmm. I know with both of them I can have them do this, this, exactly. this, and we can get to that that goal post that we that have we as a unit mm-hmm. together faster if I allow them to. So, Adrian, do this. Mona, do that. Kids, let's go this direction, yeah. and we can make it happen. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, a good leader is a good delegator. Exactly, <laughs> that's the word he, I was exactly. looking for. Like, he, like, like a good leader, like Adrian said, he knows his strengths mm-hmm. and weaknesses. Mm-hmm. He is a ra- aware of his surroundings, so he knows. I say Nisha get down with mm-hmm. this over here. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pass it to her. I'm gonna get all the credit. Pass the ball, yeah, because I'm the leader. That right. a good leader knows how to delegate. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, and. and See, here's the thing that maybe men don't understand and we maybe shouldn't really tell it. But <laughs> if I got to teach you A, B, C, D, E, F, G, <laughs> if you got to come and lay your head on my shoulder and uh, be the sounding board for your bullshit and your inadequacies and your failures and somebody piss you off today all the time. Because men do have feelings. Right. And I want you to have feelings. Right. And I want you to come to me and lay your head on my shoulder sometime so I can rub your little ball head or whatever kind of style you rock. Ball head, ball head. <laughs> yes. Oh, well. I'm However, sorry. However, my bad. If you, y'all so nasty. <laughs> you have me a ball head. It's true. Even. <laughs> well, I did say ball Shit. head first. You did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if I have to keep on uplifting you and telling you, baby, it's going to be all right. When is it for me to come to you so you can tell me it's it's going to be all right? If you are more emotional than me, if you don't have any uh, conflict resolution uh, uh, apparatus for yourself, if I got to keep on telling you this and that and that, women don't respect that. When I start saying... Yeah, he's a punk ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's the we problem. We don't respect that. Mm-hmm. That's the we, problem. We don't respect that. How you? A and you're not car. gonna last. Yeah. You you, can't next, you. dude, yeah. you're a crybaby. Mm-hmm. Pull him That's out, bench off. him. Yeah. yeah. Sit him on the bench. Mm-hmm. Give me right. another point guard. Right. Exactly. Since Absolutely. he was a point guard, point guards lead. Point guards delegate. Point guards will get other people to make that point if they can't. So as a leader, point guard. You definitely don't want to get on a, a news station or have an interview and say, my wife got my balls. 
My wife wear the pants. Yeah. My wife controls everything. Right. And I just sit there and she just sits there and smile and be like, yep, I got them right okay. here. Okay. Here's here his boss. <laughs> Here's his boss. Right. <laughs> you dropped the ball, Dwayne. You you was out of bounds. You was out of line. But like, Dwayne has been out on. of line. Definitely. His he's, whole life. Look how he spells his name. Retard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that. No. no. <laughs> his name is messed up. Out of so. bounds. <laughs> his name is. When I typed his name into the uh, search engine, <laughs> it, I'm like, who what? spells their name like this? Yeah. You know, so, yeah, he's just. And she knew what she was getting. Definitely. She when knew. she got him. Because she, when when she married the first man, I think his name is Chris something. Uh, I can't remember. He was mm. an athlete too. They mm-hmm. they lasted about four years. She said she divorced. Well, she divorced him in two thousand five, and she said because she thought that she needed time to invest in her career and things of that nature. So it only took three years, and then you got with Dwayne Wade and. It, so she she wants power. You she's a mean girl. Mm-hmm. She is you, definitely a mean girl. And she mm-hmm. said it. She yeah. said when she was growing up, she was classified as mean. She was she a bully. She looks evil. She was a bully. Mm-hmm. She gave stories about it how mm-hmm. she bullied other black girls that showed up to the school that she went to right. because she wanted to be the head black, black bitch Ooh. at the school. Like right. she she said it. She is definitely a mean girl. She was a mean girl in the industry. That's why a lot of people wasn't really fucking with her for a while. That's why I, I'm not going to say it's the sole reason, but that's part of the reason why her and Jada have to have that sit down mm-hmm. because they weren't talking the for years table, right. because she was a mean girl. Mm-hmm. And she probably still is even though she claims that she's gotten better after mm-hmm. having, you know, some therapy and conversations with life coaches, but she was definitely a mean girl, mm-hmm. definitely. Mm-hmm. And I can see her saying to the, to the men she dates, even if they are athletes, I need your balls if we get together. So exactly. if you're not going to give me your balls, we're not going to work mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, so. Nah, um, I'm pretty much done with this topic. I think that Dwayne Wade is... <sighs> He has some work to do. I think it was a bad look for men, you know, because not saying that this is a representation of all men, but by him just literally saying that my wife runs everything, my wife is the head of the household, my wife basically controls my movements, what I say, what I do, um, it says a lot. It also explains, and I'm not going to go into it because I don't want the community to come after me, but it also explains why... You know, his mm. his children mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. may think the way they think, you know, um, like someone said, like Mona said, like if the if the mommy is the head, if the mommy is the leader, if the mommy is exuding that masculine role that could play a part into why someone thinks that they want to be like mommy. Just a thought. You know, mm, I don't think he or she wants to be like mommy. I think she's being like daddy. Could be. Because oh. of the simple fact that she does not dress like mommy. She's, she's not really soft. a girly, girly a femme. She's more like a stud, you know. Mm. She's not a girly girl. I know so. she got nails. Uh-huh. Ah. And, and he paints his toenails and his Very nails, Very true. Too. Okay. And he wears the little soft little suits with the, the tie up right here. Very true. He cuss up his pants. So she is being like daddy. She could mm, be like daddy. You may be point. on to something. Good point. Yes. You may Never be on to something. thought about it like that. Mm-hmm. Final thoughts, Adrian? I think um, I think the leadership role should should be the, the, the husband. I think um, as long as he is healthy and in a good space, um, as a wife, we can support them in that and, and allow them to be the man in that role that they need to be because these kids need that. Um, Do they lack some leadership skills, some men? Absolutely. But I think as women, if we are a a strong support for them, that we can, we can, uh, oh, there I go again. I'm going to nurture God and build and (laughs) all that. But, you know, (laughs) I'm working on myself. (laughs) Final thought. Stop allowing these don't allow these weirdos on TV, in the <laughs> entertainment world. You know, they, they got a whole different life that we know nothing about. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. We don't know if their bosses 
um, have something on them and they push them out here to push out this propaganda. Find a normal uh, heterosexual couple to uh, mentor you and show you how uh, your marriage is supposed to work if you can find one. If you can't find one in your immediate family, uh, seek out anything besides these uh, entertainers. Uh, a man is supposed to lead. We want a man to lead. We want to be the soft one. We don't want to wear, uh, wear, uh, oh Lord, worry our pretty little heads over certain things. You know, um, this, it just is opening the door for men to do less and less. And that's what, that's not what men do. Men want to be powerful. Men want to, uh, have a stake and leave a legacy and, 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 and plant a seed and, and be known for being respected in the community and people looking up to them in the right way. So um, make sure you get a man that leads. Don't have little sugar puff up there oh, telling God. you that oh, frosty flake. Mm -hmm. stuff. Um, yeah, it, it, it's just getting ridiculous how they are trying to divide uh, the black family and the black household. We have yet to see uh, the propaganda machine promote healthy heterosexual marriages, you know, nationally. We know they exist, mm -hmm. but be careful of what they're putting out because remember, television is programming and... That's all I got to say. Mm -hmm. All right. This concludes BGP for today. Thank you for coming out. Good night. Bye.